How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be installing Parsec on our Nintendo Switch. Now Parsec is a remote desktop streaming application that allows you to stream from your PC onto other devices. In this case the Nintendo Switch. Now in order for it to work on the Switch you need to have Lineage OS already installed because we're going to be using an Android version of Parsec for the rest of this process. So if you don't have Lineage OS on your Switch already, I do have a video that I cover that on my channel. You can go ahead and find that video, have your Switch set up, and then you can come back and follow us here. But before we get started, I'd like to mention that it's an Android build that's still in beta, so you might encounter some bugs, but um, so far I've only encountered two, which I'm pretty sure you will encounter as well. But the first one is that there's no mouse uh, that's visible on your Nintendo Switch. So you can still poke all your applications and get into your files, but it's a little bit confusing because it's a small screen and if you have kind of big fingers, it's kind of hard to see where you're poking. So maybe a stylus will work there, but I'll show um, at the end, closer to the end of this video when we have everything set up. The next big thing is that we have a problem with button mapping. So for some reason, it recognizes the Joy-Cons on Bluetooth and it, it buttons all it configures all the buttons except the analogs so it doesn't read any of the analogs and the joy cons and it's no long it can't work that way so in order for me to work around this I'm gonna be using my Xbox one controller which to be honest I actually prefer because the setup of the controller feels a lot more comfortable when playing like war games or any other types of games and rather than using the controllers of the Nintendo switch so if that's okay with you, I am ready. If you are, let's go ahead and get started. Now, as you can see on the screen, we're already on the website, which I'll leave as a link in the description, so that way you can come and get your installation for your uh, PC. But it has uh, downloads for other devices, so if you're using Mac, you can get it there uh, right here. Uh, just some information. I do not have a Mac. I do not know how to use the Mac, so if you want to use Mac on your own end, um, I'm sorry, I don't know if I can help you with troubleshooting, but let me know how it goes anyways. Did it work for you? Did it not? But once you download here, you can go ahead and have it ready. But let's go ahead and talk about Parsec a little bit more. What I like about Parsec is that it has ultra low latency. Really good. Just the configuration already on boot up is really good. I had almost no lag at all, pretty much, and everything felt so fine. Even when I was on dock mode, I had no lag at all. So it was really good. Now the next cool thing is that you have share games with your friends online. Which means if I have a game like uh, Smash Bros that I'm streaming on my PC, uh, other people can log on, I can send codes to my friends and they can have access to my PC and then they can use their controller that they set up, uh, whether Xbox or any other type of Bluetooth controller that actually worked with analogs. And then they can all play Super Smash Bros with me on my PC or Cuphead or or something on Steam. So that's pretty cool. So to me it's an alternative to landlines or LAN play or also an alternative to online play with multiplayer. Uh, you can actually control your own server which will be less lag and all that sounds pretty good already. But we're going to be using just uh, just for me, just for today. And once you have it downloaded you can have it here and uh, start the installation. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall because there's one important piece that I wanted to share with you during installation. Uh, it's about to pop up right about now. And there it is. The Parsec setup. Would you like to enable controller support? Yes. We're going to want to click yes. So if you see that, click yes. If you don't see that, restart the uh, installation and hopefully you get to see it. So once you're done with that, it'll boot up here. If you don't have an account already, you can go ahead and click on sign up and make an account. But I'm going to be put mine and I'll catch up to you when I'm done. Okay, so once you log in, you'll be able to see your computer that's already here, that's already signed in for here and ready for um, streaming. Uh, you can create a party here. I wouldn't mess with the settings because it's already set up and it was pretty good. But if you have to mess with the settings, you can click down here for that and have it there. Also, there's a tab for parties. So there's people already using Parsec, and you can go ahead and join them if you want. So there's somebody who's playing Mario Kart. If you want to play with them, you can go ahead and play with them here. And then you can scroll down and find whoever's playing what, and then you can ask them to join, and you can be their partner if you want to do that as well. But we're just doing ours today. Now that we're done here on the PC, we can go ahead and switch to the Nintendo Switch and continue with the process from there. 
Okay, so here on the switch, we're going to want to go ahead and open it up. And we're already on, on Lineage OS. It's a little bit dark screen because uh, when we go into the download, I want you to be able to see um, what I'm trying to do. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pair our Xbox One controller if you haven't done that already. So I'm going to swipe all the way up. I'm going to go into the settings tab. And then here, I'm going to want to go into connected devices right under network. So I'm going to click on connected devices and then I want to connect it to Bluetooth. So I'm already connected to my Xbox One controller but if you haven't had your Xbox One controller connected you're going to want to go to pair a new device and then you're going to want to push the home button on your Xbox and then uh, it'll connect. But if it doesn't say connect you can just push it one time and it should connect. But if you are connected you can test it by pushing the home button and it'll take you back to the home screen on your lineage OS. Now we need Parsec, which is right here. Now Parsec, which is pretty convenient, is on the Google Play Store and it's ready to type in. So go ahead and click on search for games, uh, search for Parsec, which I already have mine searched. It's going to look like this and want to poke on it and then press op uh, install. Do not click open just yet because we're going to need to close out these apps just so that way we don't have any processes running in the background and messing up with our switch or killing the battery but we have our Xbox connected see I'm moving stuff with my Xbox analogs but let's go ahead and go into Parsec for, the f for your first time you're gonna have to sign in like you just did on the PC but I'm already signed in and you can see my my things right there um, also with the Xbox controller there's a little cursor which is pretty convenient here but for some reason doesn't show on the PC which is also not that good either but once you're ready to go you can go ahead and click on connect and it'll say connecting to the host and if you're on the same uh, network everything should be fine so on the same network as in uh, one's 5G make sure you're on 5G on your switch or on 2G but uh, on some cases uh, if you're on 2G and your other ones on 5G sometimes it doesn't work so just note that if it doesn't work for you make sure you're on the same things but as you can see on my switch I already have my PC already being streamed but let me show you the whole mouse thing so let me show you my mouse on here so here's my mouse on the on my desktop let me rub on here and you'll see that I can move the mouse and I can highlight things but um, I can't see the mouse on my desk on my switch so that's the only inconvenient thing but you can go and find something there but also the first thing we're gonna want to do is um, go right here to this little blue icon and and push on it just one time and it should open this drop down menu and you should be able to see remap controller so what we're gonna want to do is remap controller under it it says press control for a button so all you gotta do is just map your controller so it says B then X Y select for back start button right left right left analog stick in left up right down left up and down for analog left and right up and down left and right okay so now our Xbox uh, controller has been mapped and uh, so now here is uh, another cool thing that you can do is if uh, when you map your controller I put this one for select and this one for start but if you hold if you push this uh, select and the d-pad up you'll activate a mouse keypad from your controller and you can actually control the mouse on your desktop so as you can see I am using my uh, Xbox controller to move around the mouse on my desktop you still can't see it on the switch but uh, it's there so you can see on the switch that it's being highlighted on things so that's the only thing that's the problem but another another thing to remember once you're done using the mouse you have to push the up and d-pad again to deactivate it because if you don't then it continues to recognize the mouse and then you completely deactivate your your Xbox controller so you can't really use it during gameplay so now that we're done here, I'm just going to use my regular mouse since I'm already on my PC just for to make things faster. And I'm going to go ahead and play 
uh, a game. So for this game, I'm going to be using uh, Spider-Man Web of Shadows PC version and um, and launch it. Show you that I have full function before we end this video. So uh, so far, I've been using PC games. I've been using um, the Steam. I've been using Steam, which I'll show in a little bit. I've also used like Roblox and stuff like that. So that that, that was pretty cool. Um, if you see any lag on the screen, I, I don't have any lag at all, but if you do, it's because my PC can't handle it and it's not working really well. But as you can see, I'm using my Xbox controller to go up and down on the game. So everything's working just fine. I have full function of it. But there you go. Also, what's also cool about this is that you have uh, audio from your PC uh, coming out of your Nintendo Switch. And it works really good. But I'm not going to play the audio because I don't want to get in trouble. But there you go. I am playing a PC game on my Nintendo Switch. And you can, as long as you have Wi-Fi, you can go wherever you want. So if you're on uh, the other side of the house or if you have a bigger TV instead of your PC, you can go put it in dock mode and play your PC with your Switch. And so on and so forth. So... Um, with that being said, we can continue moving on here. Um, so that's working on that. But let's move on to a Steam, just so I can show you. But this is pretty much the end of the video, guys. I'll continue with uh, with the Steam after I'm done with my outro. But um, if you like this video, a thumbs up is appreciated. If you like this content, a subscribe is appreciated. Let me know what you think about this video. Was it hard to set up? Was it good? Did you like it? Uh, let me know. I, I like to read my comments on whatever is uh, is there. If it's constructive criticism. You didn't like it. I'll still read it. But um, thanks to everybody that's been watching my videos. I'm trying to keep it open here with different kinds of stuff. Uh, thanks for all the nice feedback that I've been getting. But um, here you go. You can see that I'm able to go. I can punch. I can swing. Oh, I can't swing yet because I'm in fighting mode. But there you go. Um, I love this game. There you go, guys. Um, if there you go, guys. That one worked out for me just fine. Um, remember that I you take off the the d-pad and up so you, you won't have any function of the mouse anymore because now we're using the xbox to input so if you don't have any input on your games try pushing the d-pad up with the select and taking off the mouse function but other than that guys um thanks for watching i really appreciate all the nice feedback um the donations have been really great as well i really appreciate it, it helps a lot thank you everybody that's donated to me as well and um also, as always, thanks for watching. You know, thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you on the next one.